And then um, we'll just wait for the next queue. Room call off! Hell yeah. Which, where am I? Yeah, right down there. Then other nice thing about this quest is I don't have to venture too far from town whilst I do the quest. Otherwise, it'll just shadow meld in like a bush or something. There's no bushes here. I don't. I can't really shadow meld in a bush in a in a burned ashen wasteland. Do you want some lore? Do you want some respect the lore really quick about the burning steps and like kind of this whole little area with the Syrian Gorge and stuff and like how it became fucking this? So the Dark Iron Dwarves used to live here. Their capital, like Black Rock Mountain stuff is their capital city for the Dark Iron Dwarves. And did you hear that lag? That was funny. So the ruins of Thurisian was, a, was like, a, like a city temple area. Um, and what had happened was, uh, Emperor Thurisian, they wanted to fight, like, the Bronzebeard Dwarves and the Dark Iron Dwarves, and to a degree, the Wildhammer Dwarves have been, like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, have been doing a fight for, like, years. So, Emperor Thurisian decided that the best way doing a feud yeah decided the best way to fight the other dwarves and gain dwarven supremacy and retake over iron forge was to summon ragnaros and he had this idea that he would be able to uh command and like control ragnaros and uh to the surprise of no one that did not work uh, Ragnar was much too power powerful to be uh, to be commanded by a mere mortal. In fact, the the very summoning of Ragnaros trying to draw him into our plane created a volcanic explosion that decimated everything in the Burning Steps uh, and the Syrian Gorge and just pretty much everywhere around. I the lag is so bad. I have to close the other game in one sec. Um, yeah, so they didn't used to look like that. It was like a more mountainous normal area kind of like Lac Modan until they summoned Ragnaros and his just his fiery presence erupted and literally burned two zones to the ground um yeah and then in a hilarious turn of events Ragnaros enslaves and subjugates the dark iron dwarves and that's why when you're in like BRD and stuff there's so many dwarves there um, kind of doing Rag's bidding because one does not fuck with Ragnaros. Okay, really quick. Alright, there, I hit exit now, it'll close. Then we'll just log back in in between games because that, I, like, my computer was very upset there. Which, I mean, I played WoW and Hots at the same time before and it didn't get that upset, but, like, it's upset, so... That's fine. Other zones, actually very close. Is your WoW Classic Guild recruiting? Um, always recruiting for friendship. I was told this is a Grandmaster stream. Well, that's a lie, so. Get that out of here. Don't put that evil on me. Yeah, there's some of our guild information. We don't. All right, WoW's closed. You have no reason to be acting like this video game. We don't, um... We don't have enough people to do full raids yet, but maybe someday. Yeah, Black Rock Mountain is like a hotly contested mountain. You've got Ragnaros living at the bottom. And then, so you got Ragnaros at the very bottom in the Molten Core. And then above that is BRD, where you've got all the Dark Iron Dwarves that are kind of like enslaved by Ragnaros. And then you go up a step and you get Lower Black Rock Spire, which is kind of a mixed bag. And then Upper Black Rock Spire, which is like the, the Black Maw Orcs and the um, kind of like Black Dragonflight and like Nefarian's forces. Then you go all the way up to Blackwing Lair, which is fully Nefarian. Like it's like a gradient through the mountain of who is in control of that part of the mountain. And they're all like fighting over mountain supremacy like at all times. Uther, can you please not? 
This is incredibly rude. I don't like it. So it's pretty accurate in Hearthstone. Yeah, Black Rock Mountain is a, is it's, a, it's like an onion. It has layers as to who's in control of what part and who they're aligned with. Uh, Zunari and I were talking about this last night. There's a quest you do in Searing Gorge um, where a man has you basically kill a bunch of dwarves, get a bunch of idols of Ragnaros and just fuck with the dwarf shit. And then you find out at the end that he is a black dragon and he sends you to a different black dragon basically wanting you to fuck with the dwarves because they don't they're not pals uh. is the game sound boil it was skipping really weirdly for me i thought it was because it was lagging because i had wow open but then i closed wow and it's still doing it so i don't know I mean, you gotta hand it to the dwarves for thinking that summoning Ragnaros would work on any level. <laughs> yes, this is the elemental like lord of the plane of fire. I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. Narrator, it was not fine. That's like um the dark portal in the blasted lands. The blasted lands didn't used to be the blasted lands either. It was actually more swamp, very, very similar to the swamp of sorrows. Just imagine the swamp of sorrows just being twice as big. That's that was it. That was the situation. Um, and then when the dark portal was opened, it also exploded outward and decimated the entire zone. And that's why it looks like that. In the Burning Crusade, you can do the dungeons, the um, Caverns of Time dungeons, and you can do the opening of the Dark Portal, and you help Medivh actually open the first portals, and you can see the Swamp of Sorrows, or see the Blasted Lands in its original swampy, swampy form. Spoiler alert, it's just swamp filled with spiders, just like all the other one. Freedom! Yeah, swamp of spiders got spoders and cats and whatever else is in the swamp of sorrows. That's it. We've got spoders. Speaking of spoders, Apis Rex with the Apis Raid. Thank you so much, Apis. Oh, you fucked that up, Diablo. But then Uther has your back, so it doesn't matter. Wow, that was a lot of things that happened there. I was actually like, at first I was like, oh, you fucked it up, Rag, because he, he didn't suplex me till after the Apoc already popped, but then Uther walked in and just, that was it. A hive coo, gentle breeze, small bee, buzz, 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 bees, 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 bees. That was quite a hive coo. Tiger, what's up? That's not murky. It's never murky, Tiger. It'll never be murky. All right, that alt was a zoning alt because you see that alt went on him and Diablo was like, oh, hell no. And then he just walked away. I don't know where his lag is coming from. I blamed World of Warcraft on this lag, but I closed WoW and it's still lagging. So now I don't know. Now I just don't know. Control all F. Ping is 20. This doesn't make any sense. Is Steam open? No, although that does have that effect. But because of that, I don't have Steam open, nor Riot, nor Epic, nor any other launcher, because the, the Battle.net launcher hates 
playing nice with other launchers. It's real mad. Behind the door, heal. We're alive! Uh, full screen. Well, windowed full screen, probably. Hold on, let's look. Options. Uh, windowed full screen. But these are the settings I always have, like, every day of my life. So it would be weird if that started causing lag today when it was fine yesterday. The Battle.net launcher hasn't recovered still from that long weekend where they considered renaming it to the Blizzard app. <laughs> like, it's still, it's still deeply hurt. Yeah, but I don't have WoW open anymore. I, I thought it was WoW, so I closed WoW, but now WoW's closed and it's still happening, so... It, well, I mean, they proposed it. Blizzard said, we are changing the name from Battle.net to the Blizzard app. And then people were like, Wee! So they're like, fine, it's still the Battle.net. Just stop. <laughs> That's the too long, didn't read version of that. I don't really have strong opinions on it be what it's called, so I guess I didn't really care, but a lot of people really cared, so they were like, okay, fine, Jesus, just stop, please. Call it whatever you want. Saddle it up. Ah, we're in a net! Stop, Uther. No, we're still stuck in a net. We didn't get those gems on a because of the net. Wait, kill that weeb. Wait, that weeb ran away. Heck. He did. But we have spiders! We're like, who is leaving? We'll come with Ragnarudel. Boy, Ragnarudel. Yeah, what level do you have to be to get MC attuned? Is it 54? Is it 58? It'd be 58 to go in MC, right? I don't remember. Does anyone remember? Or has done it recently? 55. 50! Okay. Come, let's go. One more level. I'm 54. I'm on the Ubers part of my Ani attunement. I just thought it was weird that I was farther along in the Ani attunement than even having, like, I haven't even started. There's not really much to the Molten Core to me. You touch a rock, right? Like, that's it. It's not very involved. Sachi, what's up? I've definitely heard that one, Solmir. I've definitely heard about Mirbazing being awesome. Yo, full disclosure, I fucking hate blizzcon leaks and rumors so if you talk about them i won't answer because i hate them i think they're the worst there's that lag again that's weird hope you had a nice nap sachi i just i go to blizzcon so i enjoy you know, seeing the opening ceremony and being surprised and excited and hyped. The leaks are always just like either wrong or low quality, like ass bootleg version. 
Just sucks. Not fun. What's up, Stefan? How are you? I hate it. And it's weird, too, because normally, I don't know, I guess it really depends on the context. I was going to say, I'm normally not super opposed to leaks. But, I don't know, BlizzCon is kind of a place you're going specifically for announcements. So why would you want them leaked? It just weirds me out. On the other hand, not every BlizzCon, specifically not last BlizzCon, but previous ones, I've had the HOTS announcements um, told to me ahead of time because of stuff I was doing there. So, like, you know, we got, like, sign your NDA and no. And it didn't really ruin the experience. I don't know. Tough topic. Dude, I'm so ready for Asachi to be 60. Oh my god. Be more kit 50. Oh. I hope we can run Sunken Temple. Maybe tomorrow. But I would say before I live, leave for BlizzCon. So that only leaves one day and that is tomorrow. So hopefully I can get an ST in with B Mork. Before BlizzCon. I swear I'll come back and you'll all be 60 and I'll be the baby. I wish I could say that like I'll stream or I'll play hots or stream wow or do something at BlizzCon like I did in Minnesota, but there's no way. There's no time. BlizzCon is like if I thought if you think TwitchCon was busy <sighs> BlizzCon is a whole nother animal of busy. You're lucky if you get to like breathe at BlizzCon. What has leaked? I'm not going to tell you. I hate leaks. I was just saying I don't like them. I'm not going to tell you. Get out of here. Find your own leaks. Oh, my bad. What a lake foo. Uh, there might be that to me, the spork. I have to talk more to the people at actual Blizzard about that. The rules for, um, for content from the show floor this year are a little bit different. So we have to be... Triple sure everything's allowed before we do it. Did you know Mervzing was talking about you? That's funny. Mervzing was talking about Mi'ar and the Mi'ar just like appeared. Thank you. Cause I couldn't figure it out. I tried. That's what I tried. Well, I'm glad that you found it. Yard, yeah, he's here. No, we do. That's true. Wait, Heroes Hearth isn't tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. There's no Heroes Hearth on Tuesday. Nor is there Heroes Hearth on Wednesday because everyone is leaving. So, we won't even be here for it. It starts at 6. We'll be... Okay. Yeah. I have a lot of other stuff to do, too, tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. We're going to have to debate the dogs, too. Oh, don't look at my Mountain Dew can. Stop. I'm being shamed. I feel attacked right now. Stop. One of them I'm still drinking. Don't take the one I'm drinking. Don't mix them up. I just feel really attacked right now. No, stop. You're not funny. Stop. I'm trying to play video games and you're putting Mountain Dew cans in front of my face. Oh, did you see those two get deleted? Did you see them get deleted from the universe? 
I'm like trying to catch Ragnaros and he's just running away from me. In most games, I would say you should aim to have 50 gold. And then when you spend, you only spend your surplus, like, income. And you only jump below 50 when you're pushing for something important. Like, you really need another level to get a specific champ out. Or you really have to dig for something. No! Light did not protect him. What the heck? Light? Kill us. Kill us. He's like one hit. Okay, I got him. Let's go share my 14 in. Why would you kick a kickball? I mean, I don't even understand this reference. We did it. All right, well, we might just win the game right now. Winning games is, oh, there's a lag again. Yeah, and I'm lagging. I don't know why. I already turned off. Wow, don't say that's it. Where are you guys? I'm standing next to you. Like, I'm not sure where else I could be. Zuljin, like, I was in the afterlife. What do you want from me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we win the game here, boys. This is good. GG, we win GG like a foo. That was a good one. That was really good. I suppose one of you had to win eventually. <laughs> I suppose one of you had to win eventually. I fucking love Imperius, man. He's so rude. He's just the greatest. Imperius and Alarak. 